All right, it's a new week, new tip of the day. So how do we make our martial arts kicks, punches, golf swing, baseball swing, baseball pitch, softball swing, softball throw, all that good jazz. How do we make all those rotational exercises and activities more efficient? Well, we're about to find out. Hold on to your pants. All right, so we're gonna use this Visible Body app again. Now, um, we're gonna look here at the external rotators and internal rotators of the hip. Now, we wanna get a majority, the majority of our rotation through our hip, not our low back and definitely not our knee, right? Because if we get any internal rotation or external rotation through our knee that is too much, it's, uh, as young kids say, bad news bears, okay? Because that can result in meniscus injuries. And we don't want, too, don't want too much rotation through our low back because our low back is there for stabilization, not necessarily uh, the majority of mobility because then we can get back strains um, and other back injuries. So when we look at the hip here, we've got the piriformis. Now the piriformis muscle is one that gets a lot of blame for what you'll hear people call sciatica or piriformis syndrome. So if you look at the nerve here, these are our nerves. There's a lot of them, right? Now this big guy here, that's called your sciatic nerve. So if you hear people say, I have sciatica or my sciatic nerve is bothering me, Majority of the time, that's the nerve we're talking about. And a lot of times, this piriformis muscle, if it gets too tight, can cause a lot of blame here. So at spine and sports, that's one thing that we definitely look at. People complain about any numbness or tingling down the leg. And our goal is to basically stretch that guy out to take some pressure off of that nerve. So just wanted to give you guys a little background on that. But if, again, if we look at the rotators, we've got piriformis muscle, we've got superior gemellus, inferior gemellus, and then even our obturator internus, okay? So these muscles are gonna be in charge of rotation, okay? So they're gonna take the thigh and they're gonna rotate it within the hip joint, okay? So that's rotation. That's external rotation, meaning it's gonna turn your foot out, okay? Now if we circle this bad boy around, we've got a couple other muscles. We've got, Quadratus femoris right here. That's going to internally rotate right there. So that's the big guy we're looking at. For so why is rotation, rotation so important for our golf swing, our baseball swing, you know, martial arts kicks, all that? Because it's important because it will help reduce the likelihood of injury, especially with the knee, because we're not going to use that as a pivot point. But also we're going to be able to generate more power, okay? Because that extra rotation allows us to get more momentum as we come through the ball or come through um, on our kick, whatever it may be. So more momentum, less likelihood of a knee injury. So how do we test this so that you know, we know if we're good or if we just need a little work, right? If we can just get better, become more efficient. Now, you can do this with a friend. Now, that'll be helpful. If you are the friend, be supportive, okay? So when you're testing this, if they don't get far enough, don't go, ugh, that's rough. Okay, say, it's okay. We're gonna improve, we're gonna get better. Be supportive. So, what you wanna do, you can take golf clubs, you can take uh, sticks, whatever it may be, and you wanna make a 45 degree angle, okay? 45 degree angle. Um, this guy is from TPI, okay? Titles Performance Institute, works really well. Match it up to this, you got your 45 degree angle. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on the ground, make sure I'm back far enough. You're gonna step right in the center, okay? You're gonna lift one foot up so that your toe is touching the ground and then your hands are gonna be at your side. Now, if you wanna check external rotation, then you're gonna go away from the leg. If you're gonna check internal rotation, you're gonna go into the leg, okay? So, extra rotation, you're gonna to try to make that toe go out. Internal rotation, you're gonna to try to make that toe go in. So, you start, good stance, you're just gonna turn, you wanna keep your foot on the ground, you wanna keep your heel on the ground, and you wanna make sure you're not having any, having any rolling on the ground. Then, your friend comes up, says, yeah, you match up really good with that 45 degree angle at the hip, or you don't. And if you don't, that means we need a little work. If you do, that means that we can work on stability. And then stability is gonna be an important part, again, in making sure we eliminate hip injuries, back injuries, etc. So, if you have any questions on how to test that, or if you feel like you just need a little more clarification, 
hit me a message, uh, send me a message, let me know, and we'll get you going in the right direction. Again, Sunday as always, supplement discussion. So if you want to come join the party, definitely do. It's online. It's easy to get to. All right. That's your tip of the day. All right. I just wanted to go up, uh, uh, go a little further for the, the golfers that are watching this. So when you are doing this test, it's really important for several reasons. Um, if you have lack of rotation, you can end up early extending on uh, the ball um, with your body. Or you can end up towing out with the lead leg and that can cause you to release too soon or uh, not get the club head turned around um, and, and coming through the ball like it should. So, for example, if we're standing here and we're going through our swing, my feet are stable, I take this back. If I'm taking it back and I can't internally rotate through this lead leg, what I end up doing is compensating by lifting up my back a little bit before I even get to the top. Then when I come through, I have to come down real hard and I can end up coming inside the ball. So I get an inside out and I end up either slicing it or, or hooking it depending on where my club face is. Same thing with the lead leg. If I'm in this position, I take the arm back and then I try to come through, but I can't internally rotate enough through that lead leg. I end up turning the toe out to try to get there and then same thing, I can go in to out, or I can come up too far and come through the ball inside. So, it's real important to make sure you're checking your hip rotation, because that's going to have a huge impact on, definitely on knee health, okay, because that way we're not pivoting through the knee and there's less strain on the knee, but also to make sure we're coming through the ball and we're not early extending or towing out. So, if you are a golfer, big test for you guys so that uh, you can make sure you have the right mobility. Um, if you have any further questions on, you know, how do we fix this again, um, with ART, we can add length to the muscles to really help that rotation and then give you exercises to do on the course before you go golfing or, um, and even to do at home to make sure that, that you're going in the right direction. So for all the golfers out there, check it.